What's up guys, your humble gentleman here again. Uh, back for part two. Sorry about the above cut off in part one. And here comes a rocket spamming scrub tard. Ha, you better live it up while you can, scrubbies. Are you assault class players, all you boosters? Cause that stuff ain't coming back to kill zone three. It's already been confirmed, boys and girls. It ain't coming back. So you better uh, get it out of your system while you can. But uh, as you guys can uh, see, I made mention of the fact that I was cautiously optimistic about um about the tactician, but now I'm actually very happy that they uh, got rid of the spawn nades. And thinking about it, I mean, look at all the fighting that I have to do with my own tactician just to get a proper spawn placement. You saw that big cloud, that big green cloud down there. They literally is ha having a spawn below the ISA base, below it. I mean, there's nothing we can, there's nothing I can do. Believe me, I've I've tried. Now I'm just doing the little stuff that will at least distract them. Like, you know, building up ammo crates. And, um, yeah. Look at I me, mean, look what I'm doing here. Trying to be as careful as I can. I'm trying, I'm waiting for my spawn aids to come back, but as you can see, nothing's happening. So I just go around and blow stuff up. Yes, I know you guys hate it that I just, you know, spend my secondary ability using it to repair stuff, but uh, that's how I play. I play to help the team, even when the team doesn't want to be helped. Uh, that's just me. I, I don't I don't really care about the kill stuff all that much. Quite frankly, I think there's far too much emphasis on it. I think part of that's just due to, you know, pop popularity of games like Halo and Call of Duty. Those games aren't bad, but... uh. I don't know, I, I like objective-based games. Yes, I know they have objective modes in it, but not like MAG, not like Killzone. I'll take these types of objective games over Call of Duty and Halo any day of the week. And yes, that ammo crate did just blow up in the guy's face. <laughs> just in case you were wondering. But, uh, yeah, boy, this is Oh, yeah, I'm still building up ammo crates. And, uh, as you can see, I, I have literally have not been able to throw a spawn nade as of yet. So, for all the people that come playing on the Killzone forums, you know, initially I was against the, you know, the removal of spawn nades, but I'm sorry. The, the, look at what the alternative is. The only way, in fact, the only way to have a good game now, it seems that you have to hope that players on your team don't pick the tactician class and noob it up because uh... Look, I mean look at all the fighting I have to do could have easily put my team in a position to uh... do some damage but no we, we got a spawn near the bottom of the ISA base we have to be right there right under them so now they have both high ground and low ground because the guys who are spawning on the bottom over there are getting clowned each and every time by the ISA players. Look at that, I mean it's right there. So now I'm relegated to spawning at my home base the entire time. Kill this kid here, but it's far too late by the time I manage to kill him. And it's like players just don't think, man. Players here just don't think at all. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm glad for the changes that they made. I, I'm, I'm actually very... I'm looking very forward to the Tactician now. You know, with the new spot and mark ability. I, in fact, that's actually my only real... My only real gripe with the Tactician class as of now in Killzone 3. Uh, the spot and mark ability is far too powerful. You know... The thing that makes it powerful is not so much that the Tactician can see you through walls, it's that everyone on the team can see those blue marks that the tactician makes through walls. That's the problem. If you keep the spot and mark thing, the spot and mark mechanic, the same way it is in Killzone 2, for Killzone 3, it'll be just perfect. Because the way spot and mark works right now, as you, most of you may know, is that the, uh, the scout, he'll use his spot and mark ability, so he'll see all the blue marked players, while everyone else can see the players on radar on the radar. That is fine with me. I don't mind that. That The spot mark ability works like that. That's the only real issue I have. 
Because the, the way they have it in Killzone 3 right now, currently, at least from the looks of it, from the videos I've seen, is that everyone can see the blue marks. Uh, the tactician who uh, initiated the blue mark sequence, the medics, the infiltrator, the sabs, everyone can see the actual blue mark itself. And that, that's really silly. I mean, that's basically a wall hack. I mean, that's, that's dumb, in my opinion. So really, just keep the spot and mark mechanic for Killzone 3 the same as Killzone 2. Whereas the person who initiates the spot and mark mechanic thing can see the blue dots through walls. That's fine. Everyone else can see the people on the radar. That's fine with me. They have to stick with the red dots on the radar. If they change it to that, everything will be fine. You don't have to worry about balance issues then. Yeah, it looks like bots are making a comeback, uh, but let's be honest here. Bots are bots. Easily shot down. Only the scrubbiest of players whine about getting killed by bots. Uh, I'm sorry, get over it. If you're not playing in a clan match, you know, one of those 4 on 4 clan matches where bots are prevalent, I mean, I can understand that. Getting killed by bots in a small match, like, you know, 4 4 or 8 versus 8, that's understandable. But in a full war zone match with 16 versus 16, I mean, come on. Just aim your gun at the bot, spend the extra bullets, and destroy it yourself. Use a grenade, use a friggin' rocket. But it's like, stop whining about the bots already. They're not going anywhere. You just get over it. It's not like it's like Call of Duty where you have the invincible airplanes and all the airships and all the, all the helicopters and everything where you need... The, you just get over it. Anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, this is the final objective here. I know I'm rambling to very various points, but uh, I uh, just had a bunch of stuff to say. Oh, and uh, another random point. Uh, PlayStation Move, as I had mentioned earlier, I have it. It's very accurate. Sports Champion is actually very good. It's uh, actually a lot more accurate than Wii Sports. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be that much better, but it actually is. Surprised me a great deal. Both Wii Sports 1 and 2, so I uh, know. Currently, the PlayStation Move is the most accurate motion controller. We'll see what happens when the Kinect releases, but uh, right now, the Move controller is just extremely accurate. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting to try it on Killzone 3. I'm going to try it on Mag, try it on Little Big Planet, uh, Heavy Rain, and just a bunch of other hardcore titles, which I'm looking forward to. And as you can see, we got creamed. I managed to throw one spawn nade out, and yeah, whatever. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to be a little better with videos. Later.